Global warming alarmists claim that water wars will soon break out and that severe droughts are already driving millions of climate refugees away from their arid homelands. To cope with expanding populations and diminishing rainfall, nations around the world are adopting desalination technology. In cities from Singapore to Tel Aviv, desalination plants have replaced water scarcity with abundance. But in California, in the middle of one of the most severe droughts in modern history, desalination at any meaningful scale is not an option. In Huntington Beach, the California Coastal Commission denied Poseidon Water's application to build a desalination plant on May 12 by a vote of 11 to 0. Since 1998, Poseidon has spent over $100 million on design and permit work for this plant. Most of that money was spent on seemingly endless studies and redesigns as the Coastal Commission and other agencies continue to change the requirements. The denial of Poseidon's application makes it very unlikely another construction contractor will ever attempt to build a large-scale desalination plant on the California coast. This is a historic mistake. If you're trying to eliminate water scarcity, desalination is an option you can't ignore. Desalination has the unique virtue of relying on a literally inexhaustible feedstock, the world's vast and salty oceans, 